Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, this is Matt, and in this video, we will be doing another uh, matchup, this time against a Speedroid deck. So, no more furries. Uh, for some reason, um, at my locals, I see a lot of these decks. Speedroid is, for some, is maybe like, not the most popular deck, maybe like the second most popular deck. And it really makes, like, boggles my mind as to why, because, I don't know, they just don't feel that strong. Like, I mean... The why is probably related to the fact that Synchro Storm came out. You got a lot of um, uh, speed word support, a lot of wind monsters. You got uh, Baron Lafleur, which is another uh, Synchro monster that plays very nicely into um, speed roids because speed roids they synchro wind monsters and like their starter mon like combo monsters have effects that are like oh cannot activate uh, effects of monsters except for like wind monsters or something. So yeah, I, I guess I can sort of see it, but I just feel like. There's way better decks that you could be playing than Speedroid. In fact, uh, yeah, this this uh, matchup I'm going to show you it's a it's a two zero for me, like in my favor. So, all right. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. So I lose a die roll and I go second here. Um, so yeah, I have a solid opening hand, not the best. Uh, no clear way to make Dragoon like on turn one, but maybe I won't have to. Let's see what happens. So yeah, uh, Speeder is one of those decks that they just infinitely summon. Uh, I don't know, kind of reminds me of like Blackwing in, in a sense, but instead of bringing out, uh, except you know, unlike Blackwing, uh, Speed Red Synchro monsters are actually uh, good. Whereas I always felt like Blackwing Synchros are like super underwhelming. Like, why play you know Blackwing when you can just play Raid Raptor, right? But for Speed Red, I feel like, all right. So anyway, he's finally done with his turn. Um, so he ends the, his board with Baron, Baron de Fleur and Clear Wing Fast Dragon, which is, you know, not the best deck uh, or best opener. Um, he probably would have preferred sing, uh, Crystal Wing here. But, I mean, this monster does have, a, 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 you know, an effect that negates um, monsters. Like, so this says, um, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls. I'll special summon for the extra deck. Until the end of the turn, change his attack to zero and negate that phase of monsters effect. So it does. So he essentially has uh, one Omni negate and one monster negate, and he has uh, this trap here, which is just like a bounce basically. And he has Ash, Ash in hand. So this is a very funny intro, in, uh, interaction that's going to happen here. So my first goal is to um, uh, well, you know, I, I have Circle, I have Dark Magician, I have the Soul Servant. So the obvious play here for me would be to you know. Uh, use Circle to add Magician Salvation, which will then set Eternal Soul, and then um, play out through, and then use Psalm Strike to protect it, right, um, against uh, Baron de Fleur. Because Baron de Fleur, other than the, the once, one one time use Omni Negate, so the Baron, Baron Om, Omni Negate is not once per turn, it's once while this is face up on the field. So once they use it, it's no longer uh, available, but it, they, uh, Baron de Fleur does have a once per turn uh, card pop. Uh, that's only on my opponent's turn. So, Psalm Strike is going to be very handy here. So, let's see what happens. So, what am I going to draw? I'm going to draw a Skill Drain. So, this is very good. Because, um, you know, I have, obviously, like, Skill Drain can basically just, like, negate all, all the monsters, simplify the game, st game state, and I can just win uh, through just brute forcing Dark Magician with a Circle. So, let's see what happens. So, I use Circle, and he Ashes, which is very surprising, because, um, again, Circle is usually, like, Ash bait for Red Eye Fusion, but you never actually expect anyone to do it. So they do do it here, but I decide to go Call by the Grave, right? Uh, to to you know, um, because I, I do still I do want to get a card off of Magical Circle because I'm gonna put I'm gonna chain Soul Servant, right? But look, but then look what this guy does. He decides, you know what? I'm gonna use my one time Omni Negate, right? That he has only one use of, and I'm gonna use it to stop. Call by the grave, so that Ash will stop Circle from adding to the to the hand. So again, Circle from his perspective, right? Circle is a continuous spell. So if 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 there was no chain three and onward, like I won't get my add, but but Circle will still stay on the field, right? So he's basically like trading in an Ash for from his perspective, nothing. He doesn't know I have Soul Servant that I was planning to cha to chain to add a card, but like there, you know, seven times out of ten. Uh, Dark, Dark Magical Circle is not going to add anything to my hand, right? So this entire chain is just, like, hilarious to me. It's like, wait, you're actually doing this? Like, I don't know. It's, it's just bizarre that he actually, ch like, that he's committed so hard 
to this uh, to stopping uh, Dark Magical Circle. I mean, good for me, right? Because he's gonna wait. He's wasting his negate. Um, you know, it only sucks that I'm not gonna get Eternal Soul. At least not right away, right? So let's see what happens. All right. So the circle is still on the field because Ash negating it doesn't do anything. So I set uh, back row. Right? So I was planning to use Soul Servant to stack uh, probably a Rod on top of my my deck. And Rod will search out uh, you know Salvation and then Eternal Soul. So that's that's what I was thinking here when I set. And then you know when Barone inevitably tries to pop one of my back row, I'm just going to Solemn Strike it and and uh, we'll be good to go. So in an end phase, he uses this uh, trap to bounce Soul Servant back to my hand, which is f hilarious because like. That's the card. That that was like the least, you know. That, that that doesn't that doesn't really help him because Soul Servant is a quick play spell. So what I'm gonna do is it's still my end phase. I'm just gonna use it immediately, right? Oh, I actually put a, a Magician Souls on top of my deck. So he tries to pop, and I say, all right, uh, goodbye. Um, so no more Barone. He just attacks me, which I'm okay with. And I decide. Yeah, actually, I didn't stack it right. I stacked uh, um, souls. I think I stacked souls because uh, r if I if I went the rod route, um, you know, I it would it would take a turn before I had you know eternal soul active and then started using it. And I think here I just decided, you know what, um, I have skill drain on the on the field. If I can just summon dark magician, banish this monster, and then uh, run over this monster. Uh, I don't think there's anything he can do on his turn that will actually get over my board because, again, I have skill drain, right? Like, any combo he attempts is just going to get not going to do anything. So, yeah, I just, yeah, I think that that was my logic. I opt to go to Souls so that I can send Dark Magician, summon it, and banish this uh, Clear Wing, attack this guy, and use Soul Servant to get my draw. Oh, that was fast. So, in case you didn't see it, Solemn Judgment. So, I'm going into his turn with a Dark Magician that he can't get over without Synchro Monsters, a Solemn Judgment, which is just a great card in period, right? And then Skill Drain. So it's like, what what can he really do here? Like, the answer is nothing, really. Um, yeah, so this is one of the new cards from the Synchro Storm set, the Speed Rider Wheel. Um, yeah, he's gonna use his Summon some Monsters. Uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna link Synchro because they're both tuners. Um, yeah, not sure what that was all about. And he just goes in end phase. All right, so at this point, um, let me uh, step back here. So I draw a Florida Lee, right? So I'm thinking, okay, um, he has two bodies on the field. Um, I don't have Eternal Soul, right? If I had Eternal Soul, I can just hold this board, like just summon the second Dark Magician and just run him over. So I decide I'm actually going to go into Dragoon here. Like if I had Eternal Soul, I would not go into Dragoon. Like... But here I, I decide, no, he has two bodies on the field. Those are two pops, because otherwise, if I like, if I don't, right? If I just attack with Dark Magician, I I clear one body, and then maybe next turn he has another one. Like I, I just felt like, uh, because I don't have Eternal Soul, I don't think I can just grind it out with just the one Dark Magician. Um, so I decide I'm gonna go for a Dragoon play. So Link Spider, uh, Florida Lee, Link's in the Anaconda, make Dragoon. So I was playing somewhat of a dangerous game here because, um, you know, so maybe that was greedy, okay? Because there's a lot of things that, oh, well, hold on, let's wait till after battle phase, then I'll explain, but. Alright, so I left myself with no cards in hand, so no Dragoon Negate. Skill Drain costs a thousand life points to use, and I'm at exactly a thousand, right? Um, so really, I'm going into my opponent's turn. With the only interruption being a solemn judgment, and in my opinion, that I think that should be all I need, right? Um, so I don't think most of these uh, like speedroid um, monsters are not strong enough to attack over Anaconda and do more than a thousand damage. So I'm at a thousand life points, right? So he needs to go into some synchro, and as soon as he the synchro hits the field, then I have solemn judgment. That's my thinking, right? I don't think he can actually kill me through attacking Anaconda because of the fact that. His like his spirit pieces are like so super weak, right? So let's see what happens. So he draws, yeah. See, like he, he draws a monster that has 200 attack. Like this can't attack and kill Anaconda. So so he uses this guy to revive this, which is a 500 attack. Cannot cannot attack a thousand over Anaconda, right? He summons this guy, which will summon another guy. 
So then, now that he makes the synchro, I immediately solemn judgment him. Which was kind of what I was expecting, right? So, um, he does have this, but he already used his normal summon. And this affects, uh, he, he'll, he can only spend some if he has a win. So, it worked out, right? It was a little, I was kind of like, you know, um, riding the edge there. Like, oh, that could have worked out, that could have ended up horribly for me. Because, you know, he just needed a 1500 attack monster to, like, to finish me. Um... And you know, and after I used Solemn Judgment, he just needed a thousand a thousand attack monster to finish me. But um, based on the fact that he had no hand, like he you know nothing in his graveyard could really revive. Like other you know he had this uh, then Daiko Duke or whatever, which can revive another monster that's like weak, right? I I, I thought that it was okay to to do this. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was too risky. But um, it, it, in this case, it worked out, right? All right. So let's talk about side deck. So side deck. Um, okay, so, oh, goes and match is still here. I did not have goes and match with this. I did have Ice Dragon's Prison, so I got, I must have forgotten to save this. Oh, no, no, I was playing goes and match because I was uh, play doing some uh, playtesting with a friend earlier. Yeah, yeah, and I put back goes and match. Okay. Yeah, so in that, this game, this series, I definitely had Ice Dragon's. Okay. So I thought, I'm going second. Okay, I'm definitely putting in Dark Ruler no more. Why? Because 100% of his negates are monster effects, right? So he doesn't really have back row interruptions. Like he had that one trap that bounced, but you know it's like I think it's like a one of, and you know it's not expected he's gonna get it. Um, and I also put it. So normally I would have put in Nibiru because you know he's he has a deck that summons a lot. But because oh, and I also took out um, Nadir Servant for this. Um, yeah, so I didn't go with Nibiru this time because at my locals, when I've tried running Nibiru against Speedo, I feel like they can just play through it. Like, they have so many summon... Like, you're basically required a Nibiru right right when they reach the condition for summoning Crystal Wing, right? Once they have a level 5 Synchro and a level 3 Tuner, and they can make Synchro uh, Crystal Wing, then I have to Nibiru before they make it, right? But the problem is, like, I've done that at my locals, and they still make Crystal Wing even w after I Nibiru them. So, at, in this game, I decide to opt out of Nibiru and not Nibiru, right? I figured, uh, I don't think I I should Nibiru um, in this game. Um, and I think I also took out... I forget exactly. So I, I, I definitely put in Panker Tops. I forgot what I took out. I want to say it was either a Solemn Judgment or an Ice Dragon's Prison. Um, you'll see that it, you know my side deck ends up not mattering because it's so few cards. But um, yeah, I, I do remember it was something like this. All right. Um, so this is my side deck, yeah. Definitely three Dark Ruler and Pankratops. Unfortunately, Pankratops isn't as useful because most of the, um, you know, like Speedroids boss monsters have high attack, higher than Pankratops, and they also, you know, have monster negate. So, I mean, I guess this is a good way to bait the monster negate, but I, I, pro I likely won't be able to attack over any of their monsters. But that's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pre pretty sure this is my side deck situation. And I think the Ice Dragon's Prison is because uh, most of their boss monsters are dragons, and most of their... Um, like, combo pieces are machines, so I, f I don't know, maybe I kept it in and I took out Solemn Judgment, I forget, but yeah, um, Ice Dragon's not as effective against, um, Speedroid, but it can be, like, if, if one of the dragons is already dead, I can use it to, uh, take out the, in fact, let, let's say I kept two Ice Dragons and, uh, took out a Solemn Judgment, yeah, that, that might have been the case, um, but if not, like, that's what I would probably have done in the future, anyway, cool, so, uh, let's get into game two. And game two is interesting because for two reasons. Uh, one, um, I draw none of my side deck cards, so side decking was pretty pointless. Uh, the other thing reason is because um, he actually makes me go first, so that's surprising. Uh, makes me wonder if his deck has some going first, going second cards. Uh, cross out designator, imperm, sort of going second. Called by yeah, so nothing. Oh, he has one Nibiru. Is that? A single copy of Nibiru in his whole deck. Oh, it's oh, it's a cross out designator card. Okay, so I guess it's it's good that I did not put Nibiru in because he could. I mean, he didn't draw cross. He didn't he doesn't have cross out designator, but he does have the designator in there for Nibiru. Okay, yeah, it doesn't seem like he side decked anything because I don't see any specific going second cards. So anyway, he makes me go first, which is odd, but but not that odd because in my locals, like I have had some of some of them make me go. Uh, um, some of the speedway players make me go. Um, first as well. So bring out Dragoon. So I grab Magician Salvation. Uh, Salvation. So he drolls me, right? 
And the only thing this drill does is it prevents me from using Soul Servant this turn, which is unfortunate because it means I'll be one card short from having three interruptions, right? Um, so, yeah. So, this is one interruption, right? Eternal Soul uh, Circle. Uh, second interruption is Psalm Strike, and then third would be Dragoon, but I need an extra card in hand, right? And Soul Servant would have gotten me that card. Let me see what I would have drawn. Oh, it's not showing me. Um, Psalm Strike. And I do that for two reasons. One, um, well, a few reasons. Maybe not just two. One reason I do this is because um, I think Solemn Strike, it, knowing the fact that his deck is mostly monster effects, right? He has almost no back row, like, spell cards. I, fi I feel that Solemn Strike is a better negate than Dragoon Negate, right? Um, not only that, Solemn Strike can cancel Synchro Summons, which means... You know, if I, uh, if he summons a big monster that can get over Dragoon, I can Psalm Strike to summon, and it'll go to Graveyard improperly un summoned, which means he cannot revive it. And actually, when I peeked at his deck, I did see a Monster Reborn. So yeah, so he cannot Monster, if he had no Monster Reborn, he cannot Reborn monsters that I Psalm Strike, like the, the summon. And then the second reason is because, well, another reason is like, you know, Eternal Soul, I really want to have a Banish, because, um, I don't know if you know, but like, um... This monster here, um, High Spirit Hagoida, is a synchro monster that can recycle itself from the graveyard, right? Um, so I don't, yeah, he has a few cards that recycle themselves from the graveyard. Um, so I feel like having a banish is really useful against this deck, right? So I really want to have this banish here. Um, and the, th the third reason is like if he has like Dark Ruler No More for Ben Droplet, then Dragoon Negate won't do anything anyway. Um, so yeah, like I'm kind of banking on that he doesn't have back row clear, right? I'm banking that he might he might have either droplet and or dark ruler over having um, uh, back row clear. But also, uh, let's say he does bring out crystal wing. Um, so if crystal wing attacks dragoon, crystal wing activates effect, dragoon would negate, and then crystal wing would negate. So I lose the negate battle because his attack tr triggers first. So. Um, yeah, I just I just feel like yeah I have two interruptions to choose from. I'd, I in this game I think having the banish and the solemn strike will be uh, will be safer, right? Um, so let's see if that's the case. So and also like he sees I have no hands cards in hand for Dragoon Negate. He thinks he's gonna get like to freely combo off, but little does he know I have a solemn strike. So he's gonna summon a bunch of monsters in one turn. Blah 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 blah. This deck just summons so many monsters. It's absurd. Alright, so far none of these monsters are a threat to me. Uh, even this cork shooter is not a threat to me. Like I'm, I'm okay with him summoning this. Yeah, I'm only gonna interrupt when a threat appears, right? All right, so uh, he did bring out high speed Hagoida, which is a card that I've been seeing at my locals, but also um, I know that Speedroid um, runs. So at this point, right, so if you read this card, it says, during either player's, oh, no, no, that's not the one. Uh, you can special summon this, uh, wait, if this card is in your graveyard and you control a speeder or a tuner, you can special summon this card, uh, f you know, from the graveyard, essentially. Um, so yeah, this is just like a free level 5 synchro that can just come back from the graveyard. So at this point, I, I decide, uh, yep, this is a good banish target because um, he just committed a bunch of resources into it, and if I banish it, he can't recycle it to the graveyard. Bash that. Alright, so then he decides... Uh, let me rewind here a second. So he decides he has a level 5 with a level 3. So I'm thinking, oh, he's going to make Crystal Wing here, right? But instead, he makes... Um, hold on. He makes High Speed or Kite Drake. So this card is a really good monster. It's also an an a potential answer for Dragoon. If this card single summon, you can activate one of these effects. Destroy all other cards on the field. So if he does this, then that would clear my back row, right? And I would just have Dragoon, and then he can crash, right? Um, although that would leave him with no plays. But so, And the other effect, which is more commonly used that I've seen, is negate the effects of all face of monster opponent controls, right? So when this when he tries to summon this, this is where I saw him. Right? I decide, yeah, I'm not going to let you have this. And... Um, 
So he gets a search effect, and he has this pendulum monster. So he has no more normal summons, right? Um, and I believe... Oh yeah, since he already has a car turbo, he can't summon this car tur turbo. Uh, this dude here, uh, he, he can't special summon. Um, and this dude here can only be triggered if another monster special summoned. So he's out of place, right? Alright, so my turn comes along. I draw Solemn Judgment. Pop, pop. Soul Service will get me a card. I'm going to summon Dark Magician Girl and attack for game. And at this point, he surrenders. So. Yeah. Um, moral of the story is that uh, speed doors are not that good. I don't know. Like, yeah, they can make Baron LeFleur. They can make Crystal Wing. But, I mean, that's pretty m I feel like once they, you know, once you get over that, like I did in game one, like, they don't really have much else going for them. I don't know. It, it just feels like a super underwhelming deck. Um. So, yeah. Uh, so, hopefully I'll see less of this on my locals, but, um, I, you know, I, I, I still expect to see quite a few of these decks. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, hopefully y'all uh, enjoyed and uh, learned something about this matchup. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, see ya.